Hello and welcome to my latest video on Jurassic World Alive. What I'm going to cover off in this video are the DNA requirements to build the new hybrid creatures. So that's the uh, the Apex Indonemis and the two unique creatures, Thylus and Strepidus and uh, Lystro Savis. So um, what I'll be covering off is uh, what DNA you require to create and evolve the uh, the creatures and uh, and what the the ingredients are what creatures you're going to need to build up dna repositories to allow you to fuse the hybrids okay so so let's start off with indonemis okay the the new um apex and this has been chosen by players so this was a, a survey that went out by ludia and uh, they asked they gave a, a, an array of choices of creatures to uh, to have as new apexes and collectively the, the majority of players went for Indonemis. Um, so this is made up of uh, the unique Smilonemis and uh, the legendary Indominus Rex. So if you've got plenty of DNA for those two creatures, you may well be well on your way to creating or maybe evolving um, this apex. Okay, so specifically we're looking at, uh, it's a cunning, fierce creature and um, for the two uh, ingredients, Smilonemis and Indominus Rex, you're going to need to have those guys at level 25 before you, you can even start fusing. Okay, so for the unique, it's going to be 50 DNA per fuse, and for the legendary, it'll be 200 DNA per fuse. Okay, so if you want to actually create the Apex, you're going to need 300 Apex DNA to be able to create. Uh, the uh, Indonemis and uh, that'll be created at level 26 uh, so you're going to need approximately 750 Smilonemis DNA and 3000 uh, Indominus Rex DNA okay so once you've got it created at level 26 um, you can then obviously fuse it and, and level it up uh, so if you want to get to uh, level 30 to max it you're going to need 700 in Indonemis DNA, so you're going to need approximately 1,750 Smilonemis DNA and 7,000 Indominus Rex DNA. Okay, so how are you going to get that uh, the DNA for the two uh, ingredients there? So let's have a look. So starting off with Smilonemis. So that's made up of Smilocephalosaurus. DNA legendary and Carbonemis epic DNA so for the legendary well for both of them you're going to need to be at level 20 and it'll be cost you 50 DNA per fuse for the legendary and 200 DNA per fuse for the epic uh, Smilocephalosaurus is event exclusive so you're very much probably dependent on uh, getting Pachycephalosaurus and Smilodon DNA to be able to uh, fuse Smilocephalosaurus. Uh, Carbonemis is a global anytime creature and also has a nest in uh, maritime locations where effectively where you, wherever you've got boats uh, get a, a scent down, an epic scent and you're likely to get uh, uh, some uh, Carbonemis spawning in your area. Going back to Smilocephalosaurus, as I said, you're going to need Pachycephalosaurus and Smilodon DNA. Both these are epics. Both will need to be at level 15 to fuse for Smilocephalosaurus. Uh, both will cost you 50 DNA per fuse. Uh, Pachycephalosaurus is a uh, local zone 4 anytime creature and Smilodon is event exclusive. Okay, so let's move on to Indominus Rex. Um, so that's made up of Tyrannosaurus Rex DNA and Velociraptor DNA. Both of these guys will need to be at level 15 to fuse for Indominus Rex. And uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex will cost you 50 DNA per fuse. Velociraptor, 500 DNA per fuse. T-Rex is a global anytime spawning creature and also can be found around uh, restaurants and also it's obviously a raid creature on Thursdays. Uh, Velociraptor, global anytime and uh, 
as it has nests in transit stations, kind of buses, train stations, uh, anytime. So if you're in those areas, get a, uh, a scent down and you'll get Velociraptors spawning. So let's move on to Lystrosavis. So this is a, a unique flock. It's a cunning and resilient creature uh, made up of Lystrosuchus, uh, legendary creature, and uh, Argentavis. Okay, both these will need to be at level 20 before you can start fusing Lystrosavis. Uh, Lystrosuchus will cost you 50 DNA per fuse, and Argentavis will cost you 500 DNA per fuse. Okay, so again, let's have a look at uh, what needed to create Lystrosavis at level 21. You're going to need 250 DNA, which is going to cost you approximately 650 DNA from Lystrosuchus and 6,500 DNA from Argentavis. To max Lystrosavis to level 30, you're going to need 3,000 DNA, and that's going to cost you around 7,500 DNA from Lystrosuchus and 75,000 DNA from Argentavis. Okay, so how can you build up these uh, this DNA repositories to fuse Lystrosavis? So, Argentavis, let's do that one quickly. Event exclusive, it's not a hybrid, so just gonna have to uh, wait for events to get uh, its DNA. Lystrosuchus is a super hybrid uh, made up of um, Lystrosaurus, and Ineosuchus, uh, so um, Lystrosuchus, both these guys need to be at level 15, Lystrosaurus um, will cost you 50 DNA per fuse, and you can find those guys in local zone 3 anytime, uh, Ineosuchus, uh, that's going to cost you 200 DNA per fuse, and that can be found in local zone 2 anytime, and around gas stations, petrol stations, um, anytime okay so get your uh, sense down around those uh, gas stations petrol stations to get those spawning okay similarly Ionosuchus uh, is a hybrid and that's made up of uh, Ionosaurus and Nundersuchus so um, both these guys will need to be level 5 both are common so it's going to cost you 50 DNA per fuse um, Ionosaurus is a global dawn dusk spawning creature and uh, like Ionosuchus can be found in gas stations, petrol stations, uh, anytime. Okay, Nundersuchus is a global um, daily on a Thursday uh, anytime and can also be found spawning around uh, fishing areas. Okay, so that will get you DNA to fuse Ionosuchus which in turn can get you fusing uh, for Lystrosuchus. Okay, let's move on to Thylus Intrepidus. So this is a unique flock, and that's our second unique flock, cunning and resilient. Uh, this is made up of a uh, new creature, Morus Intrepidus, epic, and uh, our old friend Thylocotata. Both these will need to be at level 20. Both are epics, so it's going to cost you 200 DNA per fuse. To uh, create uh, Thylus Intrepidus, you're going to need 250 DNA, and that's going to cost you 2,600 DNA approximately of both epic creatures. To, to max Thylus Intrepidus, you're going to need 3,000 DNA, and again, both epics, you're going to need about 30,000 DNA to max out Thylus Intrepidus. So, where can you get this uh, DNA? So, again, starting with uh, the easy one, Morus Intrepidus, uh, event exclusive, uh, so behind a, either a paywall in the market or wait for an event to get um, uh, its DNA. Once you've got it, put it in a sanctuary and then you can start uh, fipping it. Okay, if I look at Tata, uh, Epic, made up of Marsupial Lion and Sucrotata. Uh, marsupial, uh, or sorry, I should go back to Thylocotata. It's event exclusive, so again, wait for those events or look out for it in the marketplace if you uh, pay to uh, to win. Um, okay, marsupial lion, uh, Sucotata, both will need to be at level 10 to fuse uh, Thylocotata. Uh, both are rare, so fuses are going to cost 50 DNA. 
Uh, Marsupial Line is a battle exclusive, so you get uh, get battling and uh, in the arena, and uh, chances are you'll get some Marsupial Lion DNA, uh, and also again put it in a sanctuary. Okay, Sukotita uh, is a local zone for any time spawn, and can also be found around schools. So again, get those uh, scents uh, dropped around uh, schools to get uh, Sukotita. So I'm very much looking forward to the 2.18 uh, update. I think it's very exciting to have a, uh, a fusible uh, Apex. We've had uh, Arctio Vasiles, we've had Anchilus Lux, and now we've got Indonemis. Um, Arctio Vasiles, Anchilus Lux, real grind to, uh, to get the DNA for those guys. Um, I think Indonemis will probably be a bit easier. We've got some well-established creatures as ingredients. Uh, Indominus Rex, you know, we've got T-Rex and Velociraptor there. I think most players will have uh, an abundance of uh, of their DNA. Uh, probably on the more challenging one will be on the um, Smilonemus side. Um, I know personally, Carbonemus is my uh, probably DNA challenge on that side. So I'm looking to uh, to fip and, and dart uh, that creature like crazy. Um, and then we've got uh, two more flocks, two unique flocks. Um, and, and personally. I think we've got enough flocks. Um, I don't know what you think. Please add your comments below and what your view on, on flocks are. Obviously, we've got the, uh, the, 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 the buff in terms of more group uh, attacks coming. So that may limit the, uh, the, the flock uh, options for teams. Time will tell. So, uh, But yes, I'm very excited. I hope you are too. Please add your comments about what you think of this uh, video and uh, how you'd like it to improved in future. And, uh, and I very much look forward to your, uh, your comments. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it informative. Please do provide feedback in the description below. Uh, I always respond to, to comments, so please feel free to, to add your comments, feedback or suggestions. Okay, until next time, this is Alien Newt.